Today is Tuesday, August 14th, and this is the ADM Investor Services Tuesday Market Kickoff. Please note that the views and opinions expressed here today are solely those of our guests. It should not be construed as the views or opinions of ADM Investor Services or Archer Daniels Midland Company. Today's guests are Mike Nemec, ADM IS Grain Analyst, and Alan Bush, ADM Investor Services Senior Financial Economist. Alan, let's start with the financials this morning. In light of the ongoing global trade wars, what is the outlook for the industrial metals, primarily copper? It still appears that this market uh, is likely to work lower as, as long as the trade wars continue. Uh, there seems to be uh, less demand for obvious reasons. Now, it was uh, not that long ago that copper made some uh, new lows. and So nothing has really changed. The trend for the copper market and the industrial metals, I think, in general is still lower. And until there's some type of resolution to the uh, trade situation, this weakness in industrial metals, I believe, will persist. Do you have an opinion on the more popular traded gold market, Alan? The gold market has, has been in, in trouble, and a lot of it is due to uh, funds flowing into dollars as a flight to quality vehicle. Now, gold normally is uh, a recipient of uh, flight funds, but in this case, it, it is not. It looks like they're grouping the, the gold more in the industrial metals area. So. Gold has not benefited from the uh, flight to quality moves, and I think as long as the dollar remains strong, it'll be very difficult for the gold market to advance. And Alan, with no end in sight to the trade wars and now increased political problems in Turkey, what is the outlook for U.S. Fed policy? Fed policy remains unchanged. It still looks like the Fed is very much on track to increase interest rates at the September 26th meeting by 25 basis points. There's also very good, uh, a very strong possibility that they'll raise again in December. The probability of a rate hike in December is, is around 70%, so in the, probably another two rate hikes from the Fed between now and the end of the year. Finally, Alan, stock index futures declined recently as political turmoil in Turkey spilled into the global financial markets. What's the outlook for stock index futures now? Well, as it has been in, in the past, since the lows were put in, in in March of 2009, every geopolitical problem that we have had has caused some temporary pressure in the stock index futures, followed by a new round of highs. Now, actually, today, stock index futures are higher. So I think that the Turkish problem will have the same end result, only temporarily pressuring the indices longer term. It's still the low interest rate environment that dominates that I think then will support the indices and push them higher. Mike, turning toward the grain markets, what are your assessments from last Friday's monthly USDA report that saw the markets bid on the defensive? What we have done since that report is find out that we've seen some new demand and we've been out there rebounding the marketplace, particularly in the soybean meal. Crop conditions have come on down a little bit uh, on, on, the, on this past week. We found out that this morning the Argentina says that they're going to suspend their program and in incremental reductions in their soy meal and soy oil export taxes for the next six months. So what that's out there implying is, is that we have enough supply right now, but what's going to go happen going forward in here, is the USDA correct as far as saying that we have enough supply around the world right now, or is the trade now looking at the fact that maybe going forward are we going to have enough, are we going to have this demand push that the USA is looking for. What about the fund positions right now? What the latest tra uh, commitment of traders reports say? So the trade was getting net short the corn and the beans. They went and added to that net short position Wednesday through Friday of last week. And then we had the USA report come on out and they went and buried the market on Friday. A lot of questions surrounding the grain. Finally, Mike, let's talk, I mean, we're, there's weather, exports, crop conditions, trade war to mention a few. Um, in your mind, what will be the driving factors going into the next USDA monthly report? It's uh, debatable right now. I will say the 1819 corn and bean sales on the books right now are better than a year ago. So there's the optimism out there. So if you want to go and sum it all on up, you know, if you try and get about $4 corn and or $9 beans right now, it's going to be a tough struggle because then we're going to come up with the harvest with a big crop as far as what the USDA is forecasting. But the trade's already not short, the corn and the beans, and uh, I don't know if they really want to add to it. Thank you both. Remember, the views and opinions expressed today in this video are solely those of our guests and should not be construed as the views or opinions of ADM Investor Services 
or Archer Daniels Midland Company. If you'd like more information about our brokerage services, would like to speak to one of our experts about managing your risks, or would like to open a trading account, please visit www.admis.com.